Welcome everyone, my name is Facecast and I will provide you with some tips to help you defend against and defeat ghost assassins in Art of War Legions. Make sure to hit subscribe below if you feel like being nice. People have a lot of questions concerning ghost assassins on Discord and in YouTube comments. People basically want to know how to defend against ghost assassins and why what they're doing isn't working. The answers are typically different for everyone since everyone's armies are pretty much unique. People have different heroes, their heroes are different levels, and people are dealing with different level ghost assassins. So it's not easy to provide a single answer that will benefit everyone, and I don't want to try to do that because I want to help every single person instead of a select few. So here are a few tips to help you defend against and defeat ghost assassins. The first tip is to place magic apprentices in the back row. The go-to way to deal with ghost assassins is to place magic apprentices in your own back row. When you place magic apprentices in the back row, the enemy's ghost assassins will get distracted by them and chase them. However, you may need to tweak your back row to find a good setup. This may not distract every ghost assassin, but it's a start, and if you understand the concept of using magic apprentices to distract ghost assassins, then you may be able to configure your own great setup. So if you want to use magic apprentices to distract enemy ghost assassins, then keep tweaking their positions until you find something you like. You can place magic apprentices on both sides to distract two sides of ghost assassins, you can place them in the middle to distract ghost assassins that attack you from the center. Or you can just fill up your entire back row with magic apprentices to try and distract all or most ghost assassins. The second tip is configuring your back two rows appropriately. So placing magic apprentices in the back row leads into this next tip, setting up your back two rows appropriately. There are so many formations we can talk about, I don't even know where to start. First of all, if your back two rows consist of only magic apprentices, then there's a good chance that you can distract most of the enemy's ghost assassins. If your back two row consists of ghost assassins, demons, and magic apprentices, depending on where your magic apprentices are placed, there is also a good chance that you can distract most of the enemy's ghost assassins. If your back two rows are filled with troops like ghost assassins and demons who quickly leave the area to fly to the enemy's back row, then the enemy ghost assassins won't have anyone to target besides your slow moving magic apprentices. The third tip is to place tanks in your back rows. This next tip is somewhat of a sub tip of the previous tip. If you place high HP troops in the back two rows, enemy ghost assassins will lock onto them instead of your other troops including your mid row troops. Popular tanks to use are Ogre Warriors and Witchcraft Totems because the Ogre Warriors heavy bash skill will damage and repel enemy assassins and Witchcraft Totems have a Primal Fear skill that freezes enemy units for a few seconds. There are other tanks such as Meteor Golems and Soul Hunters that work really well against assassins. When it comes to me, I personally like to use one or two Witchcraft Totems or a ton of Viking Warriors. The number of tanks you use is up to you depending on what you need. Everyone is different and it's nearly impossible to give everyone a single universal answer. If you plan to use tanks in the back two rows, keep trying something until you find what works. The fourth tip is choosing the right hero. A lot of heroes can deal with ghost assassins quite well, so let's go over a few of them. The first hero is Poseidon. Ghost assassins cannot evade Poseidon's initial wave. Poseidon's surging tide skill will deal a good amount of damage at the start of a battle and unlike magic apprentices, ghost assassins cannot avoid it. You can take a good chunk out of their HP before fights start happening by using Poseidon. The second hero is Apollo. Apollo's solar rain skill deals lasting damage to a targeted area. Solar rain will initially target an area around Apollo for some reason, so if you place Apollo in the back, he may likely be able to take out a good number of assassins. It really depends on what is in your back row, because if your back row is designed to distract assassins and make them run away, then he could end up missing everyone. The third hero is Wukong. Wukong is a nasty monkey, and his active skill is powerful and has a relatively short cooldown. His Create Havoc in Heaven skill may be useful when defending or annihilating ghost assassins. Place him in the back if you intend to take ghost assassins head on. Furthermore, at level 11 and higher, Wukong basically gains a shield or a percentage of invincibility and he will turn into a one monkey wrecking crew. 
The fourth hero is Harrison. Everyone has their favorite hero and mine is Harrison, but that's besides the point. Harrison's space annihilation skill makes the space around him stagnant with a temporal vacuum that explodes and causes damage over a few seconds. If you place Harrison in the back, his active skill will activate, freeze enemy units including ghost assassins and then explode causing a lot of damage. A high level clockman Harrison can instantly kill ghost assassins and other troops using the space annihilation skill. And that's it for the heroes, although I left out other heroes and really just focused on heroes that are capable of fighting assassins on their own, other heroes can defend against ghost assassins well and boost your army. So if you don't have these heroes or feel as if their levels are too low, don't worry, just find something that works best for you and your preferred formation. The fifth tip is to keep tweaking your formation. The biggest tip I can give everyone is to keep tweaking your formation until you find what works. Use the knowledge in this video and from other videos, use the knowledge you obtained through experience, use your curiosity to find answers, and tweak your formations until you find something you like. No one can help you more than you can help yourself, so keep at it and I'm sure you'll find something great. Before I go, I want to mention, in one of my previous videos I showed you guys a really good farming formation. This formation works well against Ghost Assassins, so I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to try it out. Alright guys, thanks for watching, smash like and subscribe, I'll see you later.